Okay, I guess we're going to have a two-part video because I accidentally stopped the previous one. And as I was doing, we were rotating over, over, over. Okay, so you'll see dice on the wall there uh, and lots of room for expansion. That is actually one of every dice I've ever had created. And it's not just for me to look at and go, oh, look at all the dice I've had created. Uh, it comes in very handy for uh, looking at different styles, different images, uh, different texts, and determining what works, what doesn't work. Hey, you know, this was a winner. This, this eh, not so much. Um, I also take another one of those four, uh, goes into a nice wooden dice box I have, uh, which serves the exact same purpose as that, but it's the transportable version instead of the in-my-office version. Uh, it goes with me to conventions and things like that. I have customers I'm talking to. I can say, here's an example of everything I've created. You can see the different things here. It allows them to say, I really like that. Could you do that but with this? And I can say, yeah or no, and, and boom. Uh, so that has a purpose. Um, the a third one of every dice goes to my mom uh, because she's my mom and she just loves it and what can you do? Um, <laughs> the fourth one goes into a box which is sort of a man, you know what, I think I'm good with those three. It, really, for me, it's two, and I have to please mom because, I, you know, she's been so supportive of my business. I don't know if I'd be where I, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Uh, I don't know whether I would be successful without her. Maybe I, I, I would be successful without all the support she's given me, but I definitely would not be where I'm at at this stage without all of the support she's given me. So, um, uh, you know, that's just one of those things she wants, so I, I do that. Uh, but, the you know, it's kind of like, eh, maybe one of these days I'm going to be like, shit, I really needed a third one uh, for this. And I don't want to regret not having done that. So, and actually there's one die I, I don't have that third one of. Um, actually one order that was six different dice. So I'm short uh, six different dice in that third, quote, master catalog. And that's what it is. It's, it's a master catalog uh, representation to be able to show the work, uh, different things, and, and also, you know, go out. What's, what's this style here? Check it out. That's what it looks like. Okay, so that's, that's kind of that. Um, the other die I just had come in um, is the sword die. This is actually a reorder. And had I had the patron up and running uh, when I was placing this dice order, uh, one of the, the patron things that I would have done is everyone that is a patron would have had an opportunity to order this die uh, as many as they wanted. Uh, basically, I would have said, hey, I'm getting ready to place this order. Here's what I'm ordering. Here's the proof. Here's what it's going to look like. Does anyone in the patron want any of these? And if you do, based on your reward level, you get you know you know your cost based on the reward level and uh, whether it's shipped to you or how much shipping you're responsible for and so forth. Give me a total of how many you want. I'll shoot you a PayPal invoice so you can pony up, and I'll add that to your order. Uh, the fact that you guys are doing it at the time I'd be placing those orders allowed me to offer those discounts, allowed me to offer to help pick up shipping in certain cases and things like that based on uh, how much you're, you're, you're giving me at greater reduced discounts because basically you're chipping in on my wholesale orders. Uh, it helps me out because, you know, if I'm like, man, I, I you know, uh, maybe I'm ordering 100 and all you guys uh, pony up uh, uh, 50 of them or 100 more together and, hey, I suddenly get another price break. Uh, so it's kind of the, the symbiotic relationship where uh, uh, by giving you guys discounts, it'll, it'll help me out. So um, the story on the sword one is uh it's actually a reorder it's one of my the few reorders i've placed at this point in time dice sell slowly i order 100 or 200 of a style in and it may take me um you know several months six months or a year to sell out down enough of those it's a numbers game if i have six dice that i'm selling in my catalog i'm not making very much money if i have 600 different dice in my catalog i'm probably going to be making a living on dice obviously i have to come up with you know i don't know tens of thousands of dollars to ever get to that point or do what i'm doing i slowly and slowly slowly grab grow that inventory and I'm doing so i'm slowly 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 gradually bringing in more income with that business project uh but talk Talking about the sword dice, I indicated that was a reproduction. Here's the original, and I wanted to get it done exactly the same, but my available dice choices change, and you'll be learning about that and why that is and, and different factors of that as we do the Patreon and, and I present things to you. Uh, but I had to, this, the original dice style was no longer available, so I changed the dice style. And if you look at them separate, you're, you, you what did you change style? Uh, but if I put them together, I'll hold up here, you'll see it. And the one on my left, I guess it would be your right. I'm not sure on that camera transposition. 
uh, would be the original. And with the one on the right being the new one. And they do even side by side almost on the camera almost look the same. In person the, the difference a lot more obvious. And let me see if I can find it there. That's a little more obvious on that side because of the, the pattern. Uh, the old one is, the first one, I shouldn't say old one, uh, the original one is a red and white blend with some blacks running through it uh, with gold pips or gold faces. Uh, the new one is red with golds running through it, and it's actually a different kind of pattern blend. Um, the way the other ones are more swirly, and this one, this one's more of a, a blend pattern, and it still has some of the blacks. Uh, but basically, those whites are kind of substituted with golds. Uh, very close, since I couldn't get the same one, and I wanted to keep the same basic color scheme as much as possible. Uh, the other option I would have went with. Um, I'm trying to remember what that was. I had another another way I was going to go. Uh, oh, it was to have completely changed the style, keep the sword, completely have changed the style, uh, but kept red. You know, but completely veered away from this, maybe some cool red swirl pattern or transparency or, you know, who knows. Uh, and then a third way I could have gone was uh, either this one or the third style, but change the sword and still keep the thor sword theme uh, to keep some of the symbology. So there's a lot of different ways I can go on, on projects, especially when I have to reorder and I can't get the exact same thing. If I wanted to, I, I, I can change up, make new versions. And those are the sort of things I'll be presenting to you guys, putting polls up and saying, hey, what do you think? What would be the best way? Here's some images. What do you like? And that will help me make a product that um, I'm getting feedback on. You're a test audience. So uh, that helps. Um, and in turn, I pass on you know discounted prices. So that's the um, that's the deal on those. These will be going up. I'll be doing a post on these. I'll be putting them on caveloot.com in the inventory. I'll, uh, they'll be going up on my Etsy. They'll be going on on my eBay. I'll be doing a post that hey, new version two in stock. Uh, I'll be marketing that, especially to some of the places where people really like these, like the UDIC, letting everyone there know hey, if you got version one. Not trying to grab sales, it's just I sold out of version 1 when I have a few left, and I couldn't get the exact same thing for so just FYI, there's a version 2 floating in existence now, uh, and all that. So actually, this box sitting in my porch today is six hours worth of work, maybe, who knows, and um, uh, by the time I sell the, the whole order out, I, my hourly rate's horrible. <laughs> but uh, when you encompass my entire, all the dice I'm selling, it, it really does pay off in the end, and... Um, uh, it's cool. I'll show you guys one of these days. I have a, a, a wall set up with uh, eight or ten gigantic bin sorting containers with drawers like you use for hardware and, and that sort of thing, like nuts and bolts. And um, they're labeled, and they're all numbered. There's over like 300, 400 drawers, and I have a spreadsheet that I keep a, a cross-reference. And that's where I store my at-home inventory uh, for dice so that when people order them, I pull up the spreadsheet and say, oh, I need two of these, three of these, four of those. Jot it down a quick note. I go to the thing, pull the dice out of the drawers and so forth. Eventually, I'd love all those drawers to be full of dice. Uh, right now, I don't even – I have one case full. Uh, so a lot of room for expansion, uh, but they're going to fill up quick, and I'm going to be like, ah, oh, I need more room. Um so, you know, a lot of cool things going on. It's fun stuff, at least for me. I hope you guys like it, and uh, I'll keep you updated. I don't want to make this video go any longer than it already has. It's probably been too long, but uh, cool. So I, I, hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, soft launch right now, uh, providing a lot of education before I really dive into, okay, so let's do this thing. Uh, but uh, I'm also taking that uh, those, those education posts I'm putting up right now, uh, that first part I just listed a little bit ago, uh, talking about customized versus custom and what the differences are. That's going to be like a four or five, maybe a three part, maybe up to a five part uh, post series uh, that I'm also putting all into one document. And I'm calling it the Codex of Dice Making or something like that. And uh, that will be available all the time for any patron to download uh, so that when I do talk about, when I do go into the Dice Project, which we're going to be doing soon, I want to order another inventory project, I'll be saying, okay, step one, we're doing this, and I'll put up polls. And, and some things I won't have to explain, some things that you'll, you'll be able, if you want to, if you don't remember, what's he talking about or what did that mean? You can kind of look at uh, that reference and, and do things. Uh, so that's it for now.
now. We're hitting about 10 minutes. So I wanted to do five, so doubled up. Again, I'm learning this whole video uh, uh, thing. I've done a lot of video stuff using a webcam, uh, Google Hangouts, and so forth. Uh, doing the whole video posting it thing isn't something I've done a lot of. And uh, I, su I suck with doing it on a phone. And uh, my, my current setup in my office area with my webcam isn't really situated for it. I don't want to harvest parts up here and then need them later because I'm setting them up elsewhere. Uh, so again, hence why that, that first goal is there, which I, I don't think will take long to, to meet. And uh, I guess what I'm saying is be patient with me on this, this crappy stuff for now. And we'll get to a point where I'm doing some nice video work. And, um, you know, everything I'm talking about is step one now. I have like step fives in my mind. We'll just, you know, but I just don't know how well I'll tweak into them eventually and so forth. But doing hangouts, maybe we play dice games once in a while online. You know, who knows? So um, uh, just uh, moving into things slowly, slow growth. Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, for the use of those that stick along for the whole ride, I, I'm hopefully going to make it a fun and enjoyable ride uh, where you're entertained and you get uh, cool perks. And, and, and maybe if you stick around long enough, those 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 dice group projects that come in that I'm selling and then taking 20% to put in the new projects that aren't coming from your funds. And maybe, maybe one of these guys, you, you guys are getting, you know, 20 dice a month and you're only doing a dollar a month. You know, I mean, it's possible. Uh, is it likely to ever get that big? No, but you know, at least maybe one of these days you're getting, getting way more than you're putting in because you put in and you stuck around, uh, so that those, those revolving, uh, projects, uh, just keep, keep growing and growing and growing and snowball the send the dice back. Uh, it's kind of like almost a Kickstarter that pays back sort of thing is, is what I'm doing here. Um, I don't know if I have it all planned out, so it's going to work perfectly. I've run a lot of spreadsheets and numbers, but it's tricky stuff. I might have to do tweaks and revises. And, man, right now we just started D6. There's D4, D8, D10, D12, D20s, you know, all that stuff. So it's going to be fun stuff. Uh, man, it just makes me look so fat. Later. <laughs>